Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty. Um, I do appreciate you taking time out of your day, evening, or night to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Um, also today I have a ring light in front of me uh, to see if I can't uh, get that lighting to work just a little bit better. Okay, so I've got my skincare on. I primed my eyes. I used my MAC um, Soft Okra Paint Pot. This is ColourPop's Smoke Show Palette. It's a monochromatic um, palette that I guess has been requested time and time again, and they finally did um, make it. It's I love the grayscale and, and black eyeshadows as well. So... I'm excited. I've used this. I don't know if I've done any videos using this. I'll have to check because I'm behind on editing. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and use the shade Stone Face, which is right here. And I'm going to use just my generic Wet n Wild shadow brush. And I'm just placing that right in the crease. It's a really pretty light gray color. And with my Delium Tool 781 crease brush, I am going to use the shade Slated, um, and that is this one right there. So last night, I'm going to put this one directly in the crease. Last night, I went to my daughter's house. Um, she purchased... Um, her house in August so this was my granddaughter's first Halloween there so I went out there and we trick-or-treated if I can I'll put a picture up she dressed up as um, Mal from um, Disney's Descendants if you're familiar with that basically Mal is Maleficent's daughter and then the costume she got uh, came with a wig and she didn't like the wig and so the wig fit me so I was walking around with pinkish purple hair now I'm going to use the shade um, ignite it's this one there so I'm gonna put this on my lid I'm not touching the inner port, inner part, just the outer right now. Okay, so now with my Chanel Contour Shadow Brush, just like that, I'm going to dip into the shade. Um, let's do it. It's this black one. This I'm just placing in the outer V. Now I'm taking that same wet and wild brush I used earlier, dipping back into um, Stone Face, that first shade. And I'm wanting to just blend this out a 
a bit. I don't really want to have any harsh lines. Now I am going to go into the shade Night Dream, and I'm putting that right over that black I just placed. And I'm going to use that same Chanel brush. I'm going to try and pre-film a um, Misty's Mask Monday. I have um, another injection that I need done. Um, so they'll um, be giving me sedation. Brush. I want to get, when I'm done with this and I'm finished getting ready, I'm going to leave early with um, my finger. I'm going to go into smoking. And I'm just going to dab it over um, slated. going to dip into starstruck it's right dab in the middle right there and I'm lightly tapping um, a little bit over the top of um, smoking And now with a Royal and Langnickel brush that I've had for quite a while and it's um, no longer able to see the print, I'm going into Young Love, which is that stark white shade. Then I am going to use Young Love again with my finger this time. Right here. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back and then we will tidy up um, the eyeshadow. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, here is the finished eye look using the ColourPop Smoke Show. I almost said Show Smoke. Anyway, I did um, put Kicker, the silver eyeliner in my waterline and then I did put it up top tight line so to speak as well I then went in with um, the shades ignite under the lash line 
And then right dab in the center, I put some of um, Starstruck. Then I use my Fenty eyeliner. And of course, topped it off with the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. I hope this video was inspiring or informative for you. I don't uh, regret making that purchase with ColourPop at all. They did a really good job with this um, Smoke Show monochromatic grayscale and black palette. I liked the way the eye look turned out. I think it's very, very pretty. And then, um, you know, and of course I use my so don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, which, why? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love comments. Give me some suggestions of what you'd like to see, palettes you're wanting to see different looks from or you're interested in. Anyway, don't forget to like, and I will see you for my next video. Bye. Much love always.